Kaylee. Today I'm going to get ready with you on camera for a holiday party. So this look is perfect for this season and I really love how it ended up turning out. So guess what? I got a new subscribe button. Yay! If you guys haven't already, please hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my new videos. I post about three times a week. To get started with this look, I decided that the smartest thing to do was my hair first. That way the curls would have time to set while I did my makeup. Every morning when I do my makeup, I always start with my eyebrows first because they really frame your face and I feel like I can't do my eyeshadows quite right unless I have my eyebrows on. So to do this, I used the Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil in the shade number three. I just wanna get a general shape first before I continue on with the rest of my makeup. Next, I'm working on my eye area with the Stay Don't Stray Primer from Benefit so that way my eyeshadows last through the night. All right guys, little secret here. Well, maybe not a secret to some of you. This is my most favorite eyeshadow palette that I have ever owned in my entire life. I use it all the time, and this smoky eye that I'm doing right here is one of my go-tos. I just love how warm it is and how wearable it is for an event or a holiday party. What's great about it is that you can easily like keep darkening things up in that outer corner and really smoke it out. So the first steps that I do for the smoky eye is use like the lightest tan shades in the palette and go through the entire crease, you know, from inner to outer corner. And then I just start slowly working in darker shades into the outer V, that outer corner area. I used the same blending brush for a while there and then for the super dark colors, like the ones I'm using right now, I just ended up uh, switching brushes for that so that way I don't blend it too high up and then it's like a little too smoky, you know what I mean? <laughs> so now I'm going in onto the lid with a flat shader brush in this really dark brown shade. I'm patting it on until it looks as vibrant and dark as I wanted it to, but I'm making sure that I am extending this outwards into the outer V area, again going through and making sure to blend this out. And now I'm using a completely clean brush, picking up just a tad bit more of that red shade from the palette and using this to help transition this dark shade up into that crease. So going back in with the flat shader brush, flipping it over, and now I'm patting that beautiful gold shimmer shadow all over the lids, mainly focusing it though on the center of the lids. If you want this to be less intense, what I would suggest for you is to not extend the dark shadow all the way into the inner corners. Um, also another thing I like to do is use a clean blending brush to just blend away a little bit of the shadows in the very inner part of the crease so that way it's a little lighter in that area and, and then it just slowly gets darker as you get to the outer corners of the eye. Koda was watching me the whole time. This was the first video that she ever actually stayed there the whole entire time. Well, not the whole time, but you know what I mean, for the majority of the video. All right, lashes that I'm using today are by Ardell. I believe these are the Wispies. It's so funny, I went to go get something and then I realized that she pushed all the pillows off and I'm like, no! So I had to fix the pillows and put them back up. I get a lot of questions, by the way, from you guys, where I got that pillow that says my name on it. And it's actually from this store on Etsy, and I will link it down below for you guys. This is brand new. I don't even think it has come out yet from e.l.f. Cosmetics. The Hydrate and Prime Balm feels so good. I think it is amazing for dry skin. If you guys have dry skin, totally try that out. Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation in number seven. I like to use this as a highlighter slash concealer. It's very full coverage, so I only use a little bit of it. Put it on all the high points of my face, basically just the center. And then I work this Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation on the outer corners of my face. So around my jawline area, you know, the lower cheeks, sides of the forehead. And then I just blend like crazy with this awesome e.l.f. blending sponge. This is from their Precision set it's like a trio and actually has two other sizes i i always recommend to get this to anyone who ever asked me about beauty blenders or blending sponges because it is so cheap and they are a lot thinner material than but not in a bad way in a good way a lot thinner material than the beauty blenders from sephora so you can actually really get into those inner corners and like squish it down and mold it and shape it the way you want it to to be able to blend everything in just right 
So I'm going in with the LA Girl Concealer, the Pro HD Concealer. This one's really good for hiding any dark under eye circles. I love putting this under my eye area and then just blending it down into my foundation. I use, again, my blending sponge from e.l.f. to do this. And now, I'll show you guys. Check this out. This is the LA Girl HD Concealer in Natural now. No, the first one was Natural. This is Almond. I use the medium-sized e.l.f. blending sponge here to do my bronzer. I am in love with this tiny little thing. This isn't the smallest one, it's the medium sized one, like I said, but it works so good, like getting in the uh, cheekbone area, around the forehead. I mean, this is just the most perfect size for applying bronzer on the face. I did this technique for the first time the other day, and I'm just like, wow, how was I ever living without this thing? It's amazing. So I also put this along my jawline, chin, tip of the nose, and the sides of the nose as well. Totally optional step here, but I love doing this because I feel like it really helps to brighten the under eye area. This is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer in neutral medium. With my fingertip, that way I don't apply too much because it's very thick, you gotta be careful with this stuff. I apply it just to the very inner corners of my eye and the sides of the nose where I have a really bad shadow there. Blend this in with the medium size beauty blender and then set everything in place. This is the Catrice Prime and Fine Translucent Mattifying Setting Powder. So guess what, this stuff is actually really long lasting because it is waterproof, pretty cool. I have been using that a lot. Going back into the Tartlet palette, I believe this is the In Bloom 2, by the way, if you're wondering. <laughs> I'm using the tan shade under the eyes first, just to get like a nice smoke, like a soft, subtle smoke down there. Using the same pencil brush, pick up the two darker shades from the palette that we had used in the outer corner on the upper lash line, the darker brown and the darker red. Bring that through the lash line, right where the lashes grow from the outer corner, almost to the inner corner. You wanna leave about a third of it open. It's something that I have always done, or like to do at least, when I do my smoky eye, because then I'm not closing my eyes off too much. It's a great technique to do if you have you know, smaller eyes and you wanna do a smoky eye, but you don't want your entire eye area to be like super dark. Fixing up the eyebrows a little bit, darkening the outer edges and inner corners with that dark brown shade. Same colored browns, you know, with the eyes and the, the eyebrows. All right, for the lips, this is the last step here. I'm using the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in Aquarius. It's like a pale pink. I get a lot of questions about my lips. You guys think I got them done. I totally did not. As you can tell from their super small size in the beginning of the video, I just slightly overlined the top lip since my bottom lip is a lot fuller. This really helps them to look more symmetrical and even. So to go right over top, I'm using the new Plush Matte Liquid Lipstick from Makeup Geek. This is in the shade Soccer Mom. Fixing up any lines, going back in with that Aquarius pencil from ColourPop. And that's it for the completed look guys I like I said I love the way that this ended up turning out it is super sexy and sultry definitely a great look if you are trying to make a statement if you got somewhere important to go you know if you have a holiday party that you're gonna be attending anytime soon I hope you guys really like this look and I hope that you have a happy holiday this year let me know down in the comments right now what are your New Year's resolutions I'll tell you one of mine right now is to upload more for you guys. Anyway, so back to this look. It's gonna work with any outfit. I mean, you can make this every day. You can make this dressy. What I decided to do was actually pair this with a red dress. So my red dress is from Lulu's. My jacket that I'm wearing is from Boohoo.com and my shoes are Forever 21. I have had this handbag for so many years, but I'm pretty sure it is also from Lulu's. But if you guys got any white purse that'll match with your green jacket and your red dress, black boots, you'll be good to go. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, drop a like down below, leave me a comment, and I will see you guys 